My name is Beth Bjornsson and I'm a neurologist who specializes in uh, conditions of the peripheral nerve, particularly painful peripheral neuropathies, and uh, I do lab research and I work on educational projects that are designed to further the treatment of patients with pain, in particular patients with acute severe pain and chronic painful injuries to the peripheral nerve. I came to the Technion from Johns Hopkins in order to work in the Department of Neurology and to do research here at the Technion um, in collaboration with David Yarnitsky. I came to Israel with my family at the end of September 2010. My bachelor's degree is in mathematics from Johns Hopkins. My master's degree is from UCLA in biomathematics and I did an MD-PhD at the University of Maryland with a PhD in physiology, focusing on the functioning of sodium channels from brain. I wound up getting a Howard Hughes Fellowship to support my PhD work and graduated uh, with honors and a residency in neurology at Yale and uh, ultimately finished my education with a fellowship in neuroelectrophysiology at Johns Hopkins. So my research here is focused on chemotoxic and traumatic injuries to the nerve. Uh, I have two main model systems. One addresses uh, the response of growing nerve, peripheral nerve cells to exposure to a common pharmacological agent. Um, and we're very interested in measuring both uh, the death of those cells, the degeneration of their axons, and the expression of, of proteins in response to those injuries. My second model system has to do with a nerve injury model, and we've been trying to determine what's the, the least amount of injury that can produce neuropathic pain in an animal model system. Uh, so it's important to understand what injuries are painful, what injuries are non-painful, and so we've been kind of looking for that lower boundary of, of how much can you injure a nerve and still not have uh, the expression of pain, per se. So uh, what we're hoping to find is a, an approach or methodology or treatment that may help to prevent any nerve-induced injury that it could occur either um, through uh, mild to moderate nerve injuries that have the potential to develop into much more painful injuries, or uh, neuroprotective strategies against common everyday pharmaceutical agents. Um, so there are some drugs that are widely used and widely taken by millions of people that have the potential to harm nerves, and we'd like to find approaches and strategies that might be neuroprotective. Um, we have a collaborative project that we're uh, developing uh, with the oncology group, uh, and we'd like to see that lead to neuroprotective strategies for patients that undergo treatment with chemotherapy. So here at the Technion and at Rambam, I do a number of different uh, tasks, uh, some of them on a daily basis. Uh, I am an attending neurologist in the Department of Neurology at Rambam, which means that I attend on the ward uh, during the year as well as have a clinic. Uh, I have an outpatient clinic where um, I specialize in peripheral nerve injuries, chronic neuropathic pain, and injuries to the back. I'm actively involved in uh, teaching medical students. I teach both the Israeli medical students and the team's medical students as well as uh, continuing to have some involvement with teaching medical students back in the United States. So I, I'm advising medical students, I'm supervising thesis work, I'm teaching a new course in the team's program as well as teaching within the context of the neurology clerkship. My book is uh, called Take Back Your Back and it's about uh, all the things that patients can do to improve their experience of uh, living with a back injury and how to recover from that back injury and, and really direct their own uh, recovery from that. So it's, it gives patients a lot of information about the things that can go wrong with a back and then uh, how to begin to tease apart the different components and how to really marshal the healthcare system and their own efforts towards getting better. So in short, I'm a pretty busy person.